The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Previously on The Fatigly Toad Show is starring The Fatigly Toad. Oh. Hello, welcome to the show. Today, the Viv, or perhaps Vibe? Oh, I, I didn't mean to wake you, sorry about that. Sorry about that. The Viv, a Famiclone plug and play with stolen software, two game lists, including a 30 game list of vibrating games, and two vibrating game controllers. Still available brand new. Is it worth the sale price of $12.99 plus tax free shipping that I paid? Let's have a look. It has a nice box. Mine got banged up in the mail. I rarely keep packaging so I don't care about the box. But it does indeed come in a box. Let's open the box. The console itself, very small. A protective plastic tray. A controller in a bag. The second controller in a bag. Typical audio video cable. Power cable, no power brick. And a manual. Very important, I'm sure. Let's see. Meow. Did you get all that? Pause here to read the included manual. I recycled the box. Should I keep the protective tray? I recycled that too. Although it will probably not make the cut. The Super Vib. A palm-sized Famiclone made to look like a tiny Super Nintendo. It is available in clear black, two-tone transparent top half with clear red bottom half, and a solid color that mimics the Super Nintendo. I chose clear black because the controllers that go with it only come in clear black, so that way they match. I don't know why the photos are sparkly. It isn't sparkly. Power and reset buttons on the top. Two controller inputs on the front. Proprietary, unfortunately. I didn't expect that. Power out and AV out on the back. Nothing on the sides. A high quality plastic housing with high quality electronics inside. Thick circuit boards and excellent manufacturing. Rubber feet to reduce sliding. Did I mention that it's tiny? Here is a Game Boy Advance SP for size comparison. It's slightly longer, but the same width. It's the same height. We are all sick of seeing these, but they do tend to keep the cost of new toys low. So I'm okay with them when they actually do work. If you haven't considered hanging on to your old televisions by now, just look at the prices of old TVs. They also make converters, but this alone will make most people uninterested in this toy. Micro USB to USB for power. No brick is included. Two small clear black controllers with proprietary inputs. Here is my opinion of these controllers. They are very small but comfortable and good quality. The D-pad is pretty good but not the best. It's a bit long in shape so it takes a little getting used to. 
Travel time is different, if you will, and you might miss a lot at first, but after some practice it's responsive and comfortable. The buttons are nice, but you only need four, and two of them don't even do anything. Pretty stupid that they chose these for this. I will be opening mine up and removing the two useless buttons. I am hopeful, when I do, I can move the colors around how I like. They also have dual shock style vibration things inside. I didn't think I would care about that at all, but it's actually been kind of fun. The console and controllers, pretty nifty. A close look at the tiny controller. The plastic is thick and tough. The back, for those who are curious. Aside from the aforementioned two buttons that do nothing, one other flaw exists. It's no big deal, but strange, and worth mentioning. The Player One controller plugs into the right hand side, and vice versa. Weird, but whatever. It could be alarming initially, though. The controllers aren't mini USB or micro USB. You might recognize what they are, but I don't. Here is one next to a micro USB. <coughs> Let's take a look at the pirated software. 30 Super Vib games and 139 other games. Let's start with the 30 in 1 list. Old School Pirate Multicarts. Cool. I am glad that English is the default choice. Often the opposite is the case. I will now kill the music and show you the entire list, but quickly. Pause at any time. This game vibrates a moment when you grab a power-up. It actually does add a little something. Kind of fun. Also when you get hit and shrink. And also when you get killed. What game is this, you ask? Dying to know, you say? It's Superboy! It reminds me of another game. I can't remember the name of it. The music is terrible. Sometimes I can... Not this time. Vibration power. Watch out, it's Superboy, and he's got the blue shirt on. Dope! Superboy. The pinball vibrates quite a bit. Every time that circle that says 100 gets hit, the controller vibrates a moment. Let's go below. It crazy vibrates here. Pretty fun.
Most games just buzz real quick when you die or get a power up. It's kind of cool though, and adds a little something. Kind of unique for a Famiclone. Diagonals are not a problem. Eat grenade! I never could throw. Buzz. 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 Where'd the laser sound go? There it is. Weird. The turbo buttons work. That was close. Buzz. Moving on to the 139 in 1 game list. I'm going to fly through it. Pause at any time if you need the information. Captain American. Not to be confused with that other guy, the douchebag. It's an eclectic mix of games. Nintendo theft combined with homebrew reskins and crap. Some hidden gems for sure though. I'll take the time now to say all the things. Thanks for watching. Click all the buttons. Eat more vegetables. Nag, nag, nag. I know it gets old hearing all of that all the time. Every little thing helps though. All of it. Sincerely, thank you. Galaga with Turbo Fire. Tried it? It's fun. This is a good Famiclone multi-cart in my opinion. This game seems familiar. Hey, this is a Superboy ripoff. Unbelievable. Number 30, Juwawuki. It's Altered Beast, sort of. Was this even real for 8-bit, or did someone do this? Oh, I'm kicking up. I don't even know how I did that.
Guerrilla War, Turbo Fire. Oops. When I play it, they should probably rename it Slaughter the Hostages. This is... How do I... Okay, let me try to save at least one guy. Cool. And then I died. Super Fight 1. Don't games normally not get called 1? Shouldn't it just be Super Fight? It's a bad Contra bootleg, but you get to be an old bald guy. Bald guys are much cooler than guys with hair, in case you didn't know. Oh, I died. Who is this console for? Just me, I guess. I really like it.